Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Stay on Earth Survival. Today we return, my voice still sounds like a dying donkey, and Kafir is released. The weekly Q&A that we're going to be talking about in just a second, after we pump a bullet into the healer's brain, for continuing to not give us the freaking muscle juice. I want that 20% extra melee damage, man. It's just... I don't think it's possible for it to happen, but I hope you guys have an absolutely a fan fantastic day. Quite the opposite of the day I'm having, where my voice just continues to be the pain of my existence, you know, you know. But I hope you guys are having a better one than that. Sorry this video is coming out a little bit later. I want to make a video on Jurassic Survival because that just got its first, like, content update, which was really cool. I just wanted to show that off, so we are doing that. Um, does not appear... That a chopper is going to be happening today, so that sucks. That airdrop is from yesterday because I forgot to move away from it. So this might be a good opportunity for us. And you know what? We'll figure out what kind of an opportunity it is after we talk about the weekly Q&A. Ten questions by the devs that they are dropping. And they got some good information as per usual. Number one, why zombies don't attack AI players? Because AI players have no soul and brains. Uh, that's really not a great explanation, Kafir. But okay, that's not that's not really much of an answer. It's just Kafir saying because. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure AI players technically would have a soul. And technically, if they're functioning and moving their arms and stuff, there's probably a brain somewhere in there. So zombies should be interested in, but for whatever reason, they're not. And Kafir doesn't seem to want to give us an explanation outside of because that's how we made it. Number two. Is it so difficult to reset neighbors' bases sometimes? It is not about the difficulty, and it's not the reason. The specialists who work on bases have different tasks right now. Globally speaking, they are needed to be redone. Not just to put boxes in different places, but to rewrite completely so that they will be useful in multiplayer in the future. So what Kafir is saying here is that they do want to rework the bases moving forward into the future because they need to rework them not only so some of the items are in different places but they need they just need to change entirely how bases work how they're structured like not just like how the walls are structured but how, like how they're coded so that they're allowed for multiplayer and so you know other enemies other players can go to other people's bases raid them and you know they they do need to change around how bases work because these are purely ai bases right now but moving forward, they do want them uh, to be multiplayer. At least that's what I'm understanding from that. If you guys got any opinions or any any thoughts of your own, any hypotheses, go ahead. Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you guys are doing that, that's going to put you a third of the way into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you got to do is make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure that you are subscribed. And that will be it for this video. Uh, after that, uh, Saturday rolls around. I'll pick a random video from last Saturday, this upcoming Friday. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that random comment will get their choice of Android or iOS when it comes to the gift card. And yeah, you guys can enter it on every video. It's not just like limited to you can only enter on one video. Like, feel free to do it on every one. If you want, you can hit that notification bell to get a little bit of the inside edge. So you always get notifications. When new stuff is coming out, I always try to cover uh, Kafir news, Last Day on Earth news, absolutely, as soon as it comes out. And speaking of that, why don't we go ahead and cover number three. Will we be able to find weapon modification and upgrade? Yes, you will, and it will happen even sooner than you think. Winky face, man, Kafir, and their emojis. But pretty much what they're saying here is that we'll be able to find modifications out in the wild so for example here you can see we got the four modifications in game currently we got the collimator sight we got the silencer we got the extended mag and we got the laser kafir here maybe they'll even add in more modifications in the future who knows but right now those are the four weapon mods that do exist in the game and the kafir is saying that moving forward and really soon so maybe Maybe this will be in the 1.7 update because that's going to be that's going to be a big milestone. A lot of people are saying and a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be the Raider update, which would make sense just because that's kind of what Kafir has been kind of like, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudging towards. And uh, this might be included in that as well, because I'm assuming that they're going to do more than just a couple raid stuff. Like when 1.6 came out, they did all of the northern stuff as well, but they also added in a couple of other things that affected everybody and weren't exclusive uh, to the north, so I could definitely see some of that happening potentially in 1.7. That'd be really cool because I got a bunch of just bland weapons that I would love to find attachments for, like you know, find them in airdrops, in the bunker. Maybe if you're lucky, find them in like biome, random biome loot here, like yellow, red. If you're lucky, find it in a chest. Maybe the dealer will want to trade them. Who knows? Maybe you can find them out of the, like the crates that the dealer gives you. But it'd be a great way of upgrading weapons, especially AKs. Because AKs are just rarer to find. So if you find a bland AK and you can then turn that into like a laser sight AK that does 18 damage, 
because that's what they do once you hop a laser sight on them that would be awesome but let me know if you guys got any ideas in terms of that because i like to give you guys his ideas you know for uh just to kind of spur the discussion here in the comments and my bad that my voice just sounds absolutely awful i think it just sounds worse in my head but still it's not i want to be 100 percent for you guys but uh yeah if you guys got ideas on how that's gonna work i'd love to hear it the community would love to hear the discussion and uh, that could count as your entry because i like to give you guys ideas on things to comment and all that number four can we have a bunker as a base home like bunker bravo we can like rebuild the elevator with required parts and have the bunker to ourselves how about that again we thought about such feature but right now you can only have one base so the way that kafir's wording this is that they're saying for now you're only going to be able to have one base but the key word is for now because there's literally an item in game that will allow you to have multiple bases that item is the zombie truck allows you to build a truck to set up other bases on the map so while kafir didn't explicitly comment on this they did say that they thought of it and they didn't entirely shut down the idea so this might actually be something moving forward and that would be so awesome maybe like there's a specific bunker later on because you guys know there's a ton of bunker cards we have like bravo delta charlie we got like a romero card uh tons of just random cards so maybe we'll be able for one of those bunkers you know down the line i'm not saying that's gonna happen anytime soon but down the line we'll be able to have a freaking bunker base and dude, that would be so cool to have multiple floors. Maybe you're, you're able to like uh, make the elevator more powerful, you know, maybe add in more power into the bunker and unlock more floors as you go deck those places out. I don't know, but having your own bunker is such an awesome idea. And I love that question. And I'd absolutely love to see that implemented because I can only imagine some of the awesome things you'd be able to do. And it would remind me a lot of Fallout Shelter, which I played a lot of and just Fallout in general. I would totally make a Fallout Shelter. That'd be awesome. So if you guys have anything to say about that, por favor, I'd love to hear. Number five, will we ever see a melee weapon you can throw and still does three times damage if it hits the target from behind? So some sort of a melee weapon, like a throwing knife, that you can actually still do sneak attack bonus damage on. And Kafir over here, Kafir over here, they are saying, awesome idea, really. They're not commenting on if it's going to happen, but they are saying that they like the idea and I mean, if Kafir likes the idea, there's a chance that it gets implemented moving forward since they aren't entirely shutting it down. They didn't say that they're thinking of it. They literally they, they literally said, cool idea. So I don't know what you want to take away from that. My takeaway from that, and that's just, this is just the way my brain's wired to work. So I got the positive vibes going on all, all up in there, trying to spread them all over, you know. But the way that, that's like Kafir's like, okay, down the line maybe if we have something fun we want to implement we could do that but i wouldn't say this is coming anytime soon and not even it's coming for sure number six will kafir please address the concern about female characters a lot of your player base are women and it should be noted that they would like the opportunity to play as a female character can kafir address how high of a priority female character implementation is at the moment the female character implementation is of quite high priority at the moment now i would love to hear if there was actual content being of higher priority because listen as much as i would love to play as a girl while we're playing at this uh listen i don't just want to keep playing the same stuff as a girl okay so if that female update comes out kafir please just i'm telling you kafir people are going to be so mad if that is the next update and that is the only thing that it releases okay i i kind of be annoyed too because it has been if that's the next update that's literally going to be a month without anything new okay because being able to play as a female run around as a female i mean that's pretty cool and all but that doesn't give you anything new to do it just changes the way you look while you're doing it you know what i'm saying so hopefully kafir knows that people would be very angry if that happens and hopefully that's why they're waiting so they can bundle in the female character into like another content update that actually adds in you know maybe like a new event new location even just dude i'd be so stoked even if they just added in the smugglers camp back in i love doing the smugglers camp because it happened every day unlike the shipwreck event god knows when the hell that thing happens number seven is the dev team willing to stream more often like once a week and add something like the day of streaming if you miss streams from the office once a week is too often to my mind don't want to distract the team every week i actually do like the dev streams as well because they usually do show some of the stuff that people are working on on the computers at least in the couple that i've seen which means it usually gives us a little bit of a sneak peek into what's being worked on how it's being implemented etc etc and that's usually pretty freaking awesome so i would love to see these happen more often but 
it does make sense. They don't want to bug the team too much because like if you're trying to work and some dude just like shoving a video camera in your face, right? It's it's kind of distracting. Like you might say, oh no, you'd be like, no, dude, it's distracting because you know you gotta look good for the camera, gotta pose, gotta model, <laughs> all that jazz. Number eight, we will be able to have more characters or quests that we could do in the game. Definitely yes. Now, I don't know if this is Kafir saying definitely yes to characters, definitely yes to quests, or definitely yes to both both because this dude decided to ask two questions in one and Kafir decided to answer with just one answer so I'm gonna assume that that means they're answering both of them so we might be able to get more characters now that's a very vague way of saying it but what I think that the guy asking the question meant is that you know I could like start a second account you know like maybe I could hit the setting button and there'd be like a button here somewhere where I could like click a button and switch to like let's just say uh star snipe 2.0 or something right that's like a level 17 I could switch over to him and play as him. That's something that a lot of MMOs actually do have, is you're able to have multiple characters, and uh, this is kind of what that dude's asking about. Uh, the quest question, that's what I like more, and I would love to have some more quests, because the last quest we had was the Smuggler's Camp, and, I mean, maybe the Shipwreck event a little bit, but it's not much of a quest. We just go there and do it. But yeah, the Smuggler's Camp, we had specific quests that we got from the characters. So this is Kafir saying that, yeah, moving forward, there are going to be more quests. Now, what are those quests going to be? I don't know. If you guys got ideas, I'd love to hear that. I would assume Tom and John, they're going to come back. All right, they're going to have some sort of new Ponzi scheme to sell us. And they're going to try to get us because, I mean, they've had us protect them while they're opening crates. They've had us smuggle zombies into cages like... Those two are some rapscallions, so I'm sure they're gonna have some sort of new Ponzi scheme, you know, sometime, but uh, number nine, once you capture a player, can I electrocute them via the torture chair to abstract, even though that should say extract, info of their base, or will it be a different web method? Can we remove body parts from captured players to keep his trophies, i.e. an ear, finger, toe, etc.? Uh, this dude is asking a very messed up question, Book of Fear answers, once you capture a player, you will be able to do whatever you want. Keeping such trophies is hardcore, but cool. Now, I don't know about that, Kafir. Being able to do whatever you want, I don't think that's actually possible because we have to be able, we can only do things that are in game. So if Kafir is saying that such trophies would be cool, that means that they have to implement the ability for us to literally cut off limbs off the people we're torturing. Will they do that? I mean, I hope so. If they said that that's cool and it'd be I, I don't know, dude. It's up to Kafir. It's up to Kafir. They, they said you can do whatever you want, but it doesn't mean whatever you want. It just means whatever you want to do within the limits of the game. So at least hopefully we will be able to then do stuff like electrocute them in the chair, torture them. It's pretty messed up, but we do need to extract that info somehow. And I'm assuming that's how it would be because you guys know we can't craft a torture chair. Uh, maybe my best guess is once you craft the torture chair, maybe they'll add in like a new item. At least this is what I would do, which is like different torture tools, you know, that like kind of progressively are harder and harder to craft, but they're more efficient at extracting information. At least this is my idea. This is what I'd love to have is uh, so let's just say the first tool is like you just create some like uh, just stuff to like cut off limbs and stuff. That's like the level one tool set. OK, uh, on one hand, you are dismembering this dude and he might, you know, go into shock and all that stuff. So there's a chance it doesn't even work. But let's just say the level two maybe is electrocution where you can hook up like a generator to a torture device. A little bit harder to craft, but a lot more success rate, you know, less chance of the duty capture dying, better chance and maybe it happens quicker, that type of stuff. That'd be a cool way of implementing this whole torture thing is kind of having different, different ways of torturing that have different kind of crafting methods, crafting requirements. And then those ways are either like higher risk where like he might die before he reveals the information or lower risk we're like oh we won't how long it takes how short it takes i think that that would be a really cool way of implementing it let me know what you guys think about that idea maybe if you guys have have your own thoughts building off that i don't know and finally number 10 will there ever be a skill tree it's under discussion between the members of the team you can only say that there are many who support such way of developing our main character moreover it can extend the game in some ways so ah uh, it's under discussion that means it might happen it might not happen but there are a lot of people who do support now i don't know if that means there are a lot of people in the team 
because they said can only say that there are many who support such way of developing our main character. So I don't know if that means many of us, many of the fans, many of the players, or if there are many people in the dev team who support it. But that would be pretty cool to see, and it could extend this, extend the game in some ways. Like it does say where, you know, you're trying to get those highest level perks. And that would give us honestly something to do. Like right now, if we're waiting for an update, this would be a perfect time for us to try to level up. You know, maybe do certain quests to acquire certain perks. And perks are always awesome, dude. Like ever since I played Modern Warfare 2 years ago, I, I've always loved perks, man. Perks are just fun because they let you do some true shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, no, I forgot to go. I wanted to go. Mm. Okay, well. That's going to do it for the Q&A, by the way. Uh, I wanted I wanted to go to the freaking home so I could show you guys the bunker code for today. That is my apologies. If one of you guys know, I'll try to like edit it in over here or something, or like overlaying, because uh, I do like to let you guys know every single day, so hopefully you don't have to, uh, you know, spend the resources, or maybe you forgot to check the radio, you went to the bunker. I don't want you guys having to waste energy, so I like to do that. So hopefully, be a help. Uh, before we go into the bunker, though... Is there maybe, maybe, chopper event popped up? After we used up a little bit of energy? Is there a chance? Cross my fingers, cross my heart, swear to die, stick a needle, and my eye? Remember? Remember? Mmm. Mmm. No. No. Yeah, dude, the chopper's been so bad lately. It's like, bleh. Also, I'm, I'm just gonna go back home. I'm, I'm gonna show it to you guys. I know it's gonna use some coins, but it's okay. It's for a good cause. It's for the amazing people. Watching the video, the fan freaking fantastic people that hopefully are having a fan freaking fantastic day. That only gets more fan freaking fantastic boys up and to the right. That's the only direction I want your day going. But that is the 10 questions asked in this weekly Q&A. We'll probably be checking out the Russian Q&A when that gets translated as well. Because usually the Q&As in different languages, for whatever reason, are different. And they usually do answer different stuff. Not like not all 10 questions are different. But usually a lot like there are a couple of questions that do drop some significant information that are different. So that's definitely something that I was interested in checking out. Uh, that is the code for today. 91279-90210. We got the Beverly Hills code one day maybe. That's going to be so funny the day that that does happen. I'm just going to bring yellow tickets with us because there's no way we're getting enough red tickets from this bunker for an opening. But maybe we'll luck out. Get some engine parts. We're at 30 engine parts right now, plus the five we got in our inbox from yesterday, man. Yesterday, that was a struggle doing those crate openings, man. We did uh, we did not excel. Some of you guys are saying, like, Star, why'd you repost the video? I, I didn't repost the video. I just uh, kind of like the explanation of how to acquire the free crates. I just kind of I just reused that clip from before just because, as you guys may or may not be able to tell, my voice literally wants to die, so I'm really trying to minimize how much I have to use it so hopefully it gets better, and that was just one way that I thought I could minimize it. I didn't want you guys to think that I was, like, recycling videos. I just, like, made that explanation because I thought I explained it pretty well before, so I just wanted to use that explanation again. And uh, from then on, though, like, after the explanation, the rest of the video was brand new recorded so i don't want you guys like thinking that i'm reposting videos i saw that commented a couple of times no i'm just trying to help out my voice as much as i can because it's been a struggle all right that's why i'm also potentially trying to make the videos they're not as long as they have been before but hey you know you gotta make the sacrifices where you can and i think that's one place where uh my, my voice might need the sacrifice to be made but all right Let's head in the ball. But yeah, that is the Q&A. That's the 10 questions. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you guys have any ideas, anything you want to build on. I love theorizing with you guys. I love looking through the comments. Lately, I haven't had as much time to look through the comments. I've still been looking through them. No worries. But definitely not as much just because being home for Thanksgiving is absolutely crazy. In between, uh, whatchamacallit, in, in between being sick, doing all this family stuff and all that jazz, trying to see some friends, trying to see my godson. It's, it's been pretty hectic, so my sincerest of apologies about that. But I do still try to look through, and I love hearing your, A, the memes. Anything that brings a giggle to my face, I appreciate it. Because these last couple days, not only from my voice, just some other stuff's been made, making them kind of poopy. I appreciate a ton, and for real, just like, I appreciate you guys hopefully spreading that positivity. And you know, like, I know it's cheesy, like, oh, Star Snipe's just a YouTuber. You know, he's just spreading pot. Like, I don't know, man. I just like... I know I don't have, like, the greatest position in the world when it comes to, like,
being able to make huge changes or whatever but at the very least i like to you know i just like to let you guys know that i legitimately do want you guys having awesome days you know i'm not i'm not gonna go on a huge spiel about it because then people are gonna be like star you go about this spiel every time but long story short man it just be awesome to other people be awesome to yourself and overall just just keep it fan freaking fantastic that's what it's all about baby and about murdering zombies and dinosaurs in the case of Jurassic survival and arc arc dude i'm gonna be playing a lot more of that game coming soon i think you guys are gonna be excited for that i've been seeing some comments like people want me to hop back into that oh oh i'll be hopping back into it boys i think that you will like what there is to come that's for sure because there's a new uh, arc dlc coming out soon not gonna talk a whole ton about it but there's gonna be a series coming when that happens also hopefully i don't die trying to kill this frenzy giant of course okay well there should be a good opportunity for us to use the rest of uh, just use the rest of this thing yay he's dead yellow ticket oh uh, dude that's how it always goes man when i want yellow tickets from frenzy giants i get red tickets when i want red tickets i get yellow tickets i can never win like red tickets are never bad it just so happens that uh, you know the, the yellow tickets are kind of better right now uh, also a sneak attack on this dude por favor Hello, my dude. Eat the saw blade, mace. For that saw 165. For real. Nothing better than a sneak attack from a saw blade. You cannot go wrong with that. It's absolutely satisfactory. Oh, dude, my throat kills. But yeah, that's another thing. I haven't seen some comments like, Star, why do you make these videos so long? And it's like, well, I think you guys like, I, I, this is the way I like to do videos. Like, you know, I like to do, I like to cover anything new that comes out right away as soon as possible in the video. And then after that, I just like to chill with you guys, you know, have some fun, play the game a little bit. Like some people get mad about that. I, I, I'm sorry, but that's just how I like it. And that's why, that's why I like the way I'm doing it. If you only, if you are literally only here, for information i think it's an amazing way of doing it because after i'm done talking about the information well you guys can just head out if you want you know i don't i don't want to keep you I, I i ain't keeping you chained all right i don't have a torture chair yet i can't keep you guys here but yeah that's why i like to talk about the new stuff first and if you guys want to stick around try to have some giggles have some fan freaking testingness with me you can but you don't got to and then we just have some fun for the rest of the video try and knock out some zombie brains continue our progression a little bit and if, if that makes me the worst person in the world, I, I sincerely apologize uh, that something like that can be taken in such a negative light. But uh, nonetheless, regardless of what you think of it, I'm still wishing y'all nothing but the most fan for fantasticness of days and all that. Unlike that spitter, I'm wishing him the most painful of deaths, which I think he got pretty... W I think he got the message there. Why don't we go... These guys are going to have 80 health. Let's go stop sign on him. Take him out. Lickety split. I wish the stop sign could do collateral damage, man. Because, like, I'm swinging through both of these guys. And one of them just ain't feeling it for whatever reason. <laughs> I mean, now they're feeling it. They're dead. But you know what I mean. Okay. As per usual, the best way of doing this, you want to sneak up on those floater bloaters. Because that will allow us to get a saw blade sneak attack in. Also, we're running low on food. Now that's never good. Hopefully we find some in the cafeteria or whatever isn't that the room above us the cafeteria i think yeah a saw blade that's the, dude, i hate that the saw blade mace breaks so quick because it's so good just breaks way too quickly it's annoying like right there that thing just broke so i just gotta outrun this floater bloater a little bit play some ring around the rosie with them you know get her a katana out <coughs> cough a little bit of the driest cough of my life yeah i've been trying to stay super hydrated and stuff Guess I'm not doing a good enough job, man. My throat feels like my my throat. My throat feels like the freaking Saharan desert. It sucks. <laughs> Anything good here? Maybe some tickets. The yellow tickets are not going as well as I thought. We've killed a couple floater bloaters, couple abominations, and just it doesn't want to happen for some reason. Yellow tickets are just not happening. Our bunker luck today is looking like it might not be a good luck type of day. That's for sure. Maybe we'll get some nice pants though, some pantalones, yeah. There we go, some denim jeans. Too bad I'm not taking those, they're too broken for my standards. What up, fast butter? you wanna die? Of course you do, that's why you're attacking me. I mean, listen, if you attack me, you pretty much have a death wish. When's the last time I died? When my phone wasn't helping out the zombie cause. Last time I died, I'm pretty sure it's because my phone decided to lag like a mofo. And that's no bueno, man. That's no bueno. Okay, 
I'm gonna have a frenzy giant on the other side of this door. Uh, we might want to take him out by pistol. Because I do want to keep clearing out our inventory. Because we really do got a lot to clear out. And uh, we also do not have a lot of time before the starvation hits. So hopefully we can take him out pretty quick. So I just realized we're at like 10 hunger or whatever. Which is, uh, could be better. Could definitely be better. There lies our salvation. Oh wait, hold on. This dude dropped something. Oh my god. Never thought I'd actually be mad about a red ticket. But then today happened. Okay, maybe we'll luck out and get some food out of one. This is a freaking cafeteria, dude. We have to get food out of here. Okay, and a yellow ticket, man. It's like the cafeteria is a Christmas tree. All right, because I just got exactly what I put on my wish list to Santa Claus. Dude, that'd be so cool if for this, uh, if for the Christmas event that they're hopefully doing. I, I don't think they've confirmed the Christmas event, but if they did Halloween, I'm assuming they'll do that. And they did say that they're going to do New Year's as well. So if they're like... Christmas, at least in my eyes, is like the biggest holiday of the year that like everyone pretty much celebrates. Like even people who don't technically celebrate it, they still get a tree and stuff, you know. They still enjoy the festivities. Just the holiday season, dude. It's magical, but okay. We gotta go and ninja these dudes up. Thank God for the SWAT armor. That seriously saved us a good amount of damage. Unlike Jurassic Survival, where we spend most of our time just butt naked. Yeah, being butt naked, I just forgot how much of a struggle that can be. Yeah, there we go. Oh, another one. We're up to 20. I say we go until we get that 25th. I think that's a realistic goal. I think we can reach it. What do you guys think? Do you believe? I believe. I believe real good. There's going to be a turret up here. We got the combined fire po firepower. I don't know why I said that's so weird. To hopefully take them out. It'll also free up some inventory slots. Because at this point, I think I'm done stockpiling weapons. Because I just don't know. I, like, realistically, I don't know if and when I'm ever going to craft the workbench and let you, or the gunsmith bench. So with that in mind, I'm just going to start using a lot of these things because inventory space right now is, like, the biggest problem back at home that I have to deal with. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Yellow tickets, por favor. Por favor. Even this gives me red tickets, man. Not even the frenzy giants are full of disappointment, but it's these dudes, too. Okay. Can I get a sneak attack in on him? Maybe if we're lucky. Maybe. I feel like he's going to notice. He's going to notice. Oh, oh. No, nope, didn't happen. Dang it. All right, whatever. We can take out these two dudes. These should be a three-hitter by the katana. And then hopefully we have enough to take out the toxic abomination by katana. Oh, we're getting low on health. Thank God I noticed that. Yeah, our katana is going to be good, dude. I, I wish we could craft katanas because I would have so many of them. And thank you for the yellow ticket there, big guy. Yeah, I would craft so many of these things, at least in my eyes. They're so good because they can three hit things with 100 damage and they just swing so fast. Like, ah, yeah, I don't know. I just I just love katanas, you know, like I might send them a gift card for Valentine's Day. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Like, I don't know how my girlfriend would take that. And uh, I'm not trying to piss her off on Valentine's Day. So no promises, katana, but it, it might just happen. Mainly if you can produce for me some yellow tickets. That's the main thing I'm looking towards. And also... Uh, why don't we go with some Spike Devastators? We got a couple of floater bloaters to deal with here. Still got a good amount of band-aids, so I'm not too worried about that. Although the Spike Devastators definitely lead in to lower damage output, which is bad. Bad like spoiled milk. And I don't like that. All right, especially because cereal might honestly be my favorite part of the day. How are you people not at least giving me yellow tickets? Holy hell. For pantalones sake, man. For the sake of shotgun rain, how could you not do this? The shotgun rain stockpile is doing very good, by the way. But these guys just do not want to give us what we're looking for. I don't like that. A couple of fast biters. I don't think I've ever seen a fast biter drop anything better than a green ticket. So I don't even know why I'm going after these guys. But maybe. Okay. Okay. I, I forgot. That's how you produce results. You got to hate on the game and you got to doubt the game. And then all of a sudden, everything happens. Like, I've never seen this locker give me a yellow ticket before, so I don't even know why I'm looting. Damn it. Okay. No, I think the fact that I revealed my plans to the game may be what kind of let that spiral out of control. This dude's always a toughie, so we got to be ready to handle him. Oh, God. That's the problem, too. Sometimes he's really close to the start of the door, and it's absolutely horrifying. I've seen some of you guys comment about that. Like, Star, sometimes I'm really close to the door. And he pops up and he just like kills me. And I'm like, yeah, he can do that. Because he's like, he's patrolling that hallway. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Olympic Frenzy Giant. But he patrols that hallway. He goes up and down it. So you just have to make sure 
If you want to be sure that he's not close to you, just when you're opening the door, make sure that you don't see like the bar at the top, like saying that the Frenzy Giant is health. You know what I'm saying? That's how you can know for sure. But we got two yellow tickets to go. That's more than a reasonable goal, given the firepower we got. Let's just use the rest of this on these guys, man. I'm done playing games. I just want to get out of here and do an unboxing and go and get some sort of relief from my throat. Because <coughs> my throat is not in a good place right now. But I will tough through it. I'll do it for you guys. Hopefully. I mean, if I wake up tomorrow and my throat's actually gone, A, that would make me a floating head, which would be kind of cool. But B, that would be holy, 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 holy horrifying. Oh my god, dude, these fast biters. It's like they heard me hating on them. And all of a sudden, they're just giving me the yellow t Maybe that's why the lockers can't hear me hating on them. Lockers don't have ears. Okay, except that locker. That locker had ears. And with that, we're taking that to the bank. There's one more dude we gotta take out. Nothing like a toxic abomination to do the trick and cap off the finale. And of course, he doesn't give us anything. Uh, but we'll go and loot the rest of these. But for now, I do just want to go topside and get this opening in. Um, does beer help our hydration? It does. All right, good thing we got a P. Listen, this thing needed some vitamin P. Okay, even the terminal. Vitamin P, everything needs vitamin P. Not just living organisms. All right, computer circuits, like all that jazz, all of it needs vitamin P in its life. That's just how essential it is. But okay, we got the tickets. Start crossing your fingers now for me that our luck with the yellow will be good. Hopefully, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Crate, can you do me good? I'm sick. Can you give me a pity crate that's filled with good stuff? You know, like, come on, do it, do it for me. I'm believing you, crate. Do me good, do me good. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy! Damn it, man. I'm, I'm just discouraged at this point. Both of the crates today, or this bunker run, both of these crates sucked. We only got pistols out of this one. Okay. Only got a pistol out of that one. Didn't get any engine parts. Like, we got some food, though. So, yay! We got food, but... That was... Wow, dude. Our luck is really bad this bunker run. I have no clue why. But other than that, that is a good point for us to go ahead and end this video off on. Because we did open the crate like I set out to do. And also because my throat is on the brink of literally drying up and shriveling up into a raisin. So I got to go and give that a solid break. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching. Have yourselves nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world. Then we get some more fan fantastic from me right now. Best of luck joining the Choppa Squadron, man. I believe in you guys, whether you're opening up crates or whether you're opening up the bunker ticket runs or if you're going to airdrops trying to get engine parts. However you're doing it, best of luck to you guys. Hopefully I will be able to see you soon. And when multiplayer hits, our clan will be filled with the motorcycle we will be the motorcycle clan that just sounds a lot doofusier than i thought it did i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a cooler name that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya